Hello, Average Gaming fans. This is Average Gamer Cabby. Guess who I'm casting a video of? That's right, it is my favorite player. His name is Huck. He is on the Evil Geniuses team, and he is playing another Protoss. Uh, really good Protoss by the name of Virus Elfie. Uh, Elfie's, Elfie's a really good player. I'm actually really excited about this, this sort of series. It's actually a uh, four game series so they played uh, quite a few games together and it's going to be really cool to see the outcome I like it when players have the chance to do more than one game with each other because it completely changes their play style I find they you know it's it's not like a win or lose situation they have a couple games to figure each other out and uh, and it's it's always a lot of fun so let's take a look and see uh, with the openings uh, how it's gonna look. Well, and I, I need to scratch my ear so I won't be talking for the next uh, five to ten seconds. Sorry about that. To make up for that, let me give you a, a really cool fact that I learned today. Um, I'm sure that most of you have heard the whole over 9,000 thing that happened over the last, what, 30 years <laughs> on the internet. Uh, everyone's all freaking out about it. it's over 9,000. Did you know that that was actually a translation error? Uh, from the original cartoon, uh, both players bringing in a gateway, sorry, but from the original cartoon, it's actually, the, the original wording was that it was over 8,000. Uh, so you can thank a translation error uh, for that, that entire, like, event meme type thing. I don't know what you would call it. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool fact. So here we go, back to the, back to the game, um, scouting each other, Huck heading right over... Um, oh, look at that Huck heart right there. There's his signature. But he's heading right over to Elfie's base. He knows uh, because Huck is telepathic, I guess, that this is where Elfie is. So he's probably going to do some mineral line harassment here, just steal some minerals and uh, prevent uh, Elfie from mining. See, the, the, the probes and everything work, whether it's yours or theirs, they work on the same basis. They need to be able to mine a fresh patch. They can't mine something that someone else is already mining. So when Huck goes in here with his and starts mining, he's actually preventing Elfie from being able to, to mine that mineral patch with his uh, probe. And it has to move over. And It's just a pretty cool way to harass the mineral line. If you take a look at the production tab up here, uh, both players still matching each other almost identically with what they're doing. Um, the, the food counts are the same. We've got that uh, second gas coming in for Huck. Uh, Elfie's just sticking on one right now. Uh, both still similar build orders though, both going for warp gates, both getting their um, stalkers coming in now. And we'll take a look here, see if anything exciting is going on. Uh, El is that, yeah, Elfie's coming down now um, with a probe. See what kind of shenanigans Elfie's planning on getting up to here. Uh, ooh. Huck doing a lot of damage to that probe. Huck going into a robo nice and early. Um, and taking out Elfie's probe. So we got a robo coming in for Huck. So right here is where their build orders are really going to diverge. I mean, I know they did earlier with the with the number of gas because uh, Elfie's still just at one gas, but um, now they're going to really switch it up. So we've got two more gateways, actually three more gateways coming in from Elfie. So it looks like we might be seeing a four gate. Uh, and a bit of a rush here. Um, Huck's going to have a pretty effective defense against this. He's got three gateways and a robotics facility coming in, but still, this is going to be a lot of pressure to deal with um, from Elfie. I, I mean, if anyone can do it, Huck's going to be able to do it, but Elfie's so good um, with his micro with these rushes, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Huck getting the all-important first shot off here, so... Uh, he's able to most likely be able to clean this up, but the, the thing that he's got to watch for is this right here. Uh, we've got unit streaming in. We've got the first pylon finishing here. We've got a second pylon about to finish. Elfie going for a third, but it just happened to be blocked by Huck. I doubt if he'll be able to um, to put that down again. He's probably microing so hard right now. Uh, so we'll have to take a look and see what, what's going on here. Uh, there comes that, that first Immortal from Huck. Immortal's not that good against Zealots, though. It's It's... Not because they attack so quickly, the shields on the immortals don't really get to do what they were designed to do, which is um, 
you know, absorb those large hits. Uh, let's see what, what Huck's got going on here. Uh, Huck warping units in uh, right in front of that Immortal, really trying to take that Immortal down. We've got, uh, oh man, we've got Elfie running around here with one, uh, what do we got, one Zealot down. Now we've just got the Stalker, so Huck doing a fairly effective job here. This pylon might fall, which would force a cancel. It does. That's really good for Huck right now. Um, bring in more units here, Elfie. We've got... Uh, Huck's doing really well here. He's blocking the exits here. He's not allowing these things out. Uh, he's cleaning this up very well. We've got one Stalker left here of Elfie's. Uh, Huck's working on this pylon here. Can this Stalker get out? No, it's rejected. Elfie's still warping units in here. I kind of question the effectiveness of that. I, I mean, at this point, Elfie's got to know that uh, this is getting cleaned up and that, you know, spending 200 minerals on those last two um, zealots to kill one or two probes, just it, it just isn't worth it. Um, now, the Twilight Council coming in for, for Hawk here, so he's most likely going to move into that sort of uh, a Blink Stalker play that uh, he loves so much. Let's see what's going on up in, in Elfie's base. Elfie's got a little bit of catching up to do. I mean, he unit capped because he went for that four gate. He's pulling out the nexus, but uh, I have a feeling that this might be too little too late. It's so hard to come back when your four gate gets shut down uh, because your opponent usually has uh, a little bit of a more developed tech tree, uh, has been at their base the entire time, sort of mining and, and building, whereas you have to take your focus completely off your base and focus down below. And I know that these guys are complete pros, but uh, it's just something that's hard to continue to macro at your base with. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, Huck feeling very comfortable, though. You can tell he's he's got his, his second base coming. He's got a pylon near, but not really feeling the need to defend it overly. Uh, he's going to send this observer up here and just poke in here, I guess, and take a look at what's going on. Expansion coming in for Elfie as well. Both players, again, I guess kind of mirroring each other again here. We're going to have oh, uh, Dark Shrine. That's a little different for Huck, but Elfie catching up with his robotics facility here. Um, Chrono boosting out some more probes because he had to stop production there for that 4-gate. Um, actually, let's take a look at the uh, the worker supply here just so we can see. The army supply is up for Huck. The worker supply is actually in Elfie's favor, which is nice. Um... Well, wow, it's it's actually really impressive. I I would have pictured Elfie being a little bit further behind at that four gate, but but well done, Elfie. I commend you for that one. Uh, we'll have to see what he can do with with uh, with the forces he's got though, because I think Huck's about to push out. The the placement for Huck is so impressive too. He's got his uh, his pylon here for reinforcements. He's got uh, probe here, sort of scouting that third. Um, he's got units coming in from all angles. He's got this probe here, uh, kind of keeping an eye, I think, on the on the eastern and northern part of his base. Looks like we're going to have another three gateways coming in for, for Huck. Is that right? Am I reading this right? We've got one here. No, just a third coming in. So, uh, Sorry, fourth gateway coming in for Huck uh, here. A little bit of an engagement here, but I think it was mostly just uh, Elfie scaring Huck off. Uh, these Dark Templar... Huck has been playing a lot with Dark Templar lately. Um, I, I, I like I like that he does that, but I don't know why uh, he'll go with such a small number, I guess. He, these observers come out, and then it's basically just a waste in that point. So I don't know what, what sort of his plan is. It was really effective in a game I saw a couple... Uh, Maybe maybe a few nights ago um, against Idra, and it was it was really effective at sort of shutting down some of Idra's expansions, but uh, not as effective as as you would like to see. Here we go. We're getting some Archons into play. That's I guess the other nice thing about Dark Templar is if the your opponents get those observers out, start killing them, you can just you know warp them or um, yeah warp them into uh, into those those Archons, which are extremely powerful units. So from Elfie, we've got a uh, council coming in. Actually, council just finishing up. Blink uh, starting up, and 
first level of upgrades coming in. We've got a couple of Archons and some more Zealots coming in for Huck. Breaking down the rocks, kind of making a side entrance here, but uh, I guess just giving himself easy access in case we see that third coming up. Warping in some more Zealots. This is a, a very Zealot heavy army and Zealot Archon is, is a build that's been getting a lot of attention lately. Look at how quickly they got in. The Archon shutting down the force fields. Uh, Hux force fields splitting the army up already. Um, great, great push here from from Huck. I mean, he managed to, to annihilate that entire army of Elfies. Uh, and really, Elfie didn't have... Uh, didn't really do much damage to Huck at all, and that's that's the game there. Um... I mean, Elfie was in trouble when that 4-gate failed. There really wasn't much that he could do. Uh, he moved it up to uh, 7 gateways in the end, but but really, unless you're doing a lot of aggression, those 7 gateways aren't going to be able to be utilized fully uh, off of 2 bases. There's just not enough resources coming in. But uh, but good game, very good game. Some early aggression. We got to see how that's fended off, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to casting the second game in the series, which I'm going to do right now. So stay tuned.